Okay, let's go down in my basement. Be a little noisy because the air conditioning is running. And I'll flip on some more lights here. I want to show you my Gamma Seal bucket lids. These I actually got this set right here during the Y2K. And I've been using these type of buckets to store anything that you want to keep airtight. I mean, it can be dry grains. Uh, this bucket here I use to store soybeans. Um, I'm rotating them out because they've already been in there. Uh, well, since Y2K, that's 12 years. So uh, they've gotten rotated out and something else will be rotated back in. You can get these at a company right now called Baytech. And I think they're about 7 8 bucks a piece. You can't find them as easily as you used to during the Y2K. I think I was able to get these by buying quite a few at about five bucks a piece. But one thing that will possibly go wrong if you open and close them a lot, I will show you on this, you can see it's got that kind of whitish seal there. Well after a while those seals either get squashed or uh, sometimes they get cut and they'll fall apart or they just actually just wear out and fall off. So what I did is you can see this one has a black colored seal. And I actually made that one myself and I can show you easily how to do it with just a couple of things you can get at the hardware store. Shouldn't cost you more than about oh really maybe I'd be surprised if it costs you ten bucks and it might cost you around five bucks to fix these things. So if your seal goes bad I'll show you how to make a new seal for one of these gamma lid buckets. And also at the end of the video I'll give you the place called Baytech where you can get these things for like seven, eight bucks a piece. You do have to buy um, six at a time, I believe, to get that price. Okay, I have one of these Gamma Seal lids that is missing the seal. I think it either broke and fell off or whatever, so I went and got some 1 8 inch window screen spline, which is made out of rubber and it's weather resistant. Just take, wrap it around the lid to the length you want. And you want to cut it off. You can cut it off. Don't cut it off too loose, but you could cut it off maybe even a quarter of an inch short because it's going to stretch because you want it to stay in here and not fall out. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take it over here, and then when you find out the length and cut it, you're going to want to cut a 45-degree angle in it on both sides because we're going to use some special super glue and glue it together. So we're going to make our own custom O-ring to fix the gamma, gamma seal. Okay, now both ends have a 45 degree cut. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each end. Hold them together for a few seconds and they should become bonded. Okay, I don't know with this camera if you can even, maybe, maybe you can see it, but the only way you can see the joint really is just because the glue makes it a little darker, but basically you got a really good O-ring now. By the way, this is the kind of glue I use, Gorilla Super Glue. I think it's some of the best you can buy. Okay, here we go. Putting the other one, the new one, back on. Get it all the way down in there. It's hard to do with one hand. While I'm holding the camera, but we'll get her done. There we go. Got a brand new seal. Good all the way around. Oh, got to get this little part here. Get it down in the place. There we go. Got a nice rubber seal. So this lid is fixed. So all you need is just some window screen spline material, 1 8 inch. I think it's 20 cents a foot at my hardware store. Glue it together with some super glue. And bingo bango. Got your seal back working again. Okay, this is the site that carries them. You get here a variety of colors. Sale price thirty four seventy five, and I believe it's about forty one bucks with shipping. So forty one divided into six, that'd be about yeah about seven bucks a piece. And it's called BayTechTECcontainers.com, and I will put a link down below in the description so you can click on that and go there. But yeah, that's, this one kind of looks pink, but it's actually orange. So you get yellow, orange, red, blue, green, and black. If you want to buy the gray colored ones, they cost a little bit more.